organization is proud to be associated with this landmark event where the global parliamentary declaration to end child early and forced marriage is being presented to Mr. Morgan Liketov, uh, president of the 70th session of the United Nations General Assembly. Child early and forced marriage is indeed a harmful practice which should be stopped anywhere, anytime, and everywhere where it is being practiced. The international community has come together in the General Assembly to condemn this practice in the General Assembly resolutions which Canada and Zambia presented during the 69th session of the United Nations General Assembly. Now it is the time for member states to take action and ensure a speedy implementation of, this, uh, of the various programs so as to ensure that we end this deadly and harmful practice. Um, parliamentarians indeed play a critical role in providing overall oversight and also ensuring um, enacting of legislation, which is equally important if we are to ensure that the practice of child early and forced marriage comes to uh, a zero level. I'm glad to note that uh, our parliament in Zambia has in recent past enacted a number of legislation um, and include the Anti-Gender Based Violence Act and also the Education Act, which makes it uh, an offense for any person, be it parents or anyone, to remove girls from school mm -hmm. uh, with the intention of marrying them. So this only shows the important role that parliamentarians play mm -hmm. in this uh, 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 issue we are dealing with, child, ill, and forced marriage. So for us as Zambia, it is very gratifying that the uh, global parliamentarian has come on board so that uh, this vice can be completely eliminated from our communities. At global level, Zambia is committed to sponsoring and supporting the UN resolution, which is ending child early and forced marriage, as I've also noted. And at national level, we have several presidential and ministerial policy statements which have been issued on Zambia's resolve and commitment to ending child early and forced marriage. In ensuring that this momentum of commitment is sustained, Zambia, in collaboration with the Commission of the African Union, have pledged to host the first ever Girls' Summit on Ending Child, Early and Forced Marriage in Africa in November this year. And we hope that uh, we will love some of your presence in this very important conference. And one of the main objectives of this campaign is to secure and renew commitment from various stakeholders particularly governments, to invest more in order to accelerate and end child marriages. In Zambia, again, um, I'm glad to note that all the stakeholders have come on board, including the traditional leadership, who have also pledged to ensure that any parent or anyone seeing <coughs> are removing girls from school are also punished in their chiefdoms. So that is also a plus to us. And you know the, the authority or the, the, the authorities that the local leadership command on their communities. So with their involvement, we are hoping that this vice can completely come to a halt. Uh, child early and forced marriages practice. And we, we also hope that the partnership that we have governized at this level, global level, where we have the UN system, we have Canada, the government of Britain, Tanzania, Uganda, and many other countries that have come on board. We hope that our efforts will really uh, come to fruition, even as we embark on implementing the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development. And so as I conclude my remarks, allow me once again to just reaffirm the Zambian government resolve and commitment to achieving zero tolerance to ending child early and forced marriages with the adoption of the, the new Agenda for Sustainable Development, my government has continued to declare child early and forced marriage a, a, a zero tolerance to that act. 
We are also very grateful once more to the Parliamentarian um, for Global Action to join this partnership in taking action to ending child and forced marriage. I thank you for all your efforts. Thank you. Thank you.